Hi, this is Zomtree Greg, and today I want to talk to you about metal 3D printing. In this case, this is direct metal laser sintering. You also may hear the words direct metal laser melting or selective laser melting for the same process. I have two examples of this. One is 3D printed 17-4 stainless steel, and the other one is an aluminum alloy. You'll find that the aluminum is going to be much lighter than the 17-4. 17-4 has those inherent properties where it could be post heat treated, uh, great hardness to the material, as well as you could also see a little bit crisper features than what you find on aluminum. And that's because aluminum has more of a thermal bleed. So as that laser is actually melting that material, there may be a little bit more of that thermal splash. This also means from a design perspective, if you're doing a slot like a square internal keyway, you may want to slightly offset, maybe by four thousandths or so, on that CAD design in order to compensate for any extra shrinkage that may happen during the printing process. Both these parts are printed on a support table. There is actually metal support structure holding these pieces up. And uh, in this case, both these pieces were mainly removed. You can see kind of that matte, almost stippled like finish on the side here. This one got a little brushed up with probably just a hand sanding. But sometimes you may see some machining marks when the stipples that are shown from the support structure are a little too rough. Overall, DMLS designs are best suited when it's application specific. Certainly you can print a part in geometry, but really when it comes to 3D printing, you have to keep function in mind. That's gonna give you the best value of this service. That's what I have for today. So what else would you like to learn about with our X-Tiles? This is Zomtree Greg, thank you so much.